I just finished recording a video on my top most successful projects for the shop and that video will be out on Saturday uh, but one thing I did was I left out my drill press table here mainly because there are things that I would have done differently if I had my time back and since I'm going to be making a new drill press table I thought that now would be a good time to talk about it I made this back in 2012 and I've been using it ever since. There's nothing wrong with the design. It's actually what I believe to be the best solution for a drill press table. It's simple. It's not very big. It doesn't have to be. It's thin and light. It's easy to remove. It's got two wing nuts on the bottom down there that you can unscrew and take it completely off. So you can use the metal table underneath for drilling metal. It also has a fence system that I keep inside my cabinet here. And that's just simple too, and it just slips on like that. And you can adjust it whichever way you want. And just tighten up with these knobs. It doesn't have any T-tracks. That's one of the key features of it. I made, uh, I made a drill press table long ago with T-Tracks and I was always cleaning out those T-Tracks. They'd fill up with shavings and, and dust all the time. Just a, a totally annoying thing. So this one doesn't have it. It locks on the edge of the uh, table like that. Very simply. The fence has two heights. It's got that shorter one and then it's got the longer one. For more support. Turn it around. It's also got a stop block here that clamps right onto the fence and it'll also clamp onto the shorter one too. And the fence itself has a track down inside here so that you're not going to be having any dust jammed up in there against whatever you're trying to work. What are the things that I would change about this? First of all, is I wouldn't have bothered to cut out and make an insert. I made this when I made the table and I made I think five or six more of these and I've never <laughs> changed them mainly because mainly because if I can get that back in nice tight fit though I use a backer always when I'm drilling on here so whenever you know I drill a hole through the workpiece it goes into the backer here to make a clean exit hole on the thing. So I tend not to drill into this, although you can see there are a few places where I did, but I don't think that's a big deal. If I had, like I say, if I had my time back, I wouldn't have even bothered to do this. This would be just a plain piece of plywood. If I were to do anything to complicate it, it would be to make this side of it over here hinge downwards so that it could fold down and I could work this handle over here a little bit better. I add an extension to this, a threaded rod that, you know, pulls the handle out further so that it'll clear all this and you can turn it easily. But that's never worked really smoothly. So a better solution, I think, would be to have the table so that it could fold down. The beauty of this size of table, I got to take this clamp off down here that's holding the rack in tight against the post. The rack keeps bending, and that's one of the things I want to fix with the new table. Because the new table is not going to rely on the post at all. It's going to be freestanding on the floor. Um, getting back to what I was talking about, the, uh, the thing about having a small table like this is that it'll swivel out of the way. So you can, actually it has to be a little bit further out from the wall for that to work. It can swivel out of the way enough so that you can use the space off the table on both sides to do the cup but once again these things that I extended the uh, clamping thing over here on this side get in the way so maybe a good solution for that would be to make the other side hinge down as well so you'd have a center section here with a piano hinge joining the two leaves you could say and then you can make the leaves longer actually because they won't really be in the way too much if you need the support that is and other times when you don't really need the support they can stay folded down so 
you'd have the benefit of having the wood table there so that you could clamp things down to it easily and you'd still have the convenience of being able to fold up the wings and use the fence with it. So I think it's a good solution, but my new one, my new one's going to be even better. Since I'm here messing around, I'm going to take the table off. See how easy that was? Uh, it locks onto the metal table underneath these keys that were lined up while I was making it. And then these tabs just come over and lock onto the rim like that, so it's very fast and easy to remove. Um, I'm going to straighten out that rack again. So I kind of forget how to do that. I think I gotta loosen this screw. And then that slides up. And then bend the piece of shit. This should be hardened so it can't bend like that. It's totally crap. Fuck, get up there. You know, once it bends, then it's like it's all kinds of wavy. That looks a bit better. This is the kind of thing that works great on paper. You can see down here, it's still not perfectly tight against the thing, and it never will be, so I'm going to put the clamp on there again, just to make sure that it doesn't uh, pop out again. 